Helix. All right, can you talk about this concept of cognitive disequilibrium and why it's something that you are intentionally trying to create for students through AutoTutor? If there's two agents, these computer agents that disagree over a topic, that conflict puts people in cognitive disequilibrium and then they think about it. It kind of encourages to think at a deeper level. Whereas if they were just reading or listening, it just may go by so quickly and they'll just let it go. Let's talk about AutoTutor's built-in emotional monitoring capabilities that help make sure that with these dual agents that you're not overly frustrating students. There's really four emotions that these systems or a human tutor need to worry about when people learn. One of them is frustration. Another is confusion. Another one is boredom or disengagement. And another one is when they're in the flow. You want the flow where people are so absorbed that time and space disappear. Now, when they get frustrated, there's kind of an interesting interaction because you've probably known people who do games. They can be frustrated. However, if they conquer that frustration, it's a real high. We have tried to have automatic tracking of natural language interaction and also speech intensity, but also the facial expressions, even the posture. You can learn a lot from the posture, how people are sitting or how close their nose is to the material. We have a bunch of these rules on what AutoTutor does in response. If they are frustrated, you need to give them a good hint. If they're bored, better increase the razzle-dazzle or make the problems to work on a little bit more challenging. What we find is that the auto-tutor improves learning compared to reading a textbook by about a letter grade. 